Okay, welcome back. It's Monday, Monday, Monday. Uh, May Day, May Day, Monday, Monday, May Day, May Day, Monday, Monday. Ah, shoot, put this over here. Ugh. Okay, okay. Monday, Monday, May Day, May Day. <sighs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Let's Pay TV Monday. Let's let everyone know we're here. So you can hang out with Mr. Let's Paint for the next 40, 50 some odd whatever minutes. All right, let me do something here. I got to get this right. Let me copy this. Let's see. All right, now we can send it out. Command V. Okay, uh, we did that. Thanks for coming into the chat room. We got Eric J. Montoya in the house. Yes, yes, uh, my police beer cans that, uh, and coffee cans that, uh, well, I did a few yesterday. You you like you like my bird painting? <laughs> it's uh, I'm more I worked on it more yesterday. I I kind of had a good painting day yesterday. I painted a bunch of police beer cans and then worked on this painting that's been uh, asking for some help and uh, you know asking for some update in, in terms of adding some cutesy little birds. That's, uh, that's what I did so. Yeah, there you have it. Okay, it's Monday. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do this week? Oh, man. All right. All right. Whew. Yeah, I had the idea of the beer can uh, or coffee can or, or soup can with the police because of the, um, they have that, they have those um, protector things, you know, when they, when they're breaking up the crowds. For crowd control and stuff. And they, they look like that, don't they? They kind of look like that. This half half circle. It's kind of interesting. The uh, A lot of people seem to like it. But there's a few people that are questioning it. And it makes... Uh, that's it. That's the thing. Art, art's weird. And then if if it seems like it's somehow political or something, and I guess maybe it is, but I just saw it. I didn't see it as anything more than what it was. You know, I think that's the weird. That's the thing. Sometimes you you don't necessarily know. Uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. I guess you can you know you can conjure up whatever you want. Where are you on detour? Uh, I don't know what you're asking me there, Eric. What does that mean, detour? Uh, but anyway, I made a few of those uh, cans and I'm thinking of making like a little stop animation of them. But I don't know, maybe I won't bother so much to do you know life man life of course i gotta watch tv you know i gotta watch all this stuff on tv but you know what it's interesting you, you think that you're not really 
here's here's my uh, I'm here's here hear me advocating for continued watching of TV. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You get you get a lot of interesting ideas. You know, you see you see relations, uh, relations, uh, relationships. You uh, s- such as such as the the beer can thing I just did. Detour of paint. I, I don't know. I, I still don't understand, Eric. You you might need to call in and explain yourself, because apparently you're not doing a very good job in the discussion room. I'm not able to de- decipher, deniliate, deniliate, d- is that right? differentiate, deniliate, is that a word, deniliate, maybe not, Dif- differentiate, differentiate. Anyway, so there you have it. Thanks for coming on in. Uh, I've got another thing coming in. Oh, Tour de Paint. Tour de Paint says Arturo. Detour de Paint. No, it's Tour. Tour. Tour de Paint. You, you detour. You threw me off with that. Yeah, how's the, de- how's the, <laughs> the detour of paint? Actually, I, I did have a detour. I actually, uh, I had, I've only done five. Have I done four, only four stages of the Tour de Paint? I think I only have done four. And uh, I, I suspect I, I might want to have to go back and do another one. I just kind of got busy doing other stuff. So. Also, I don't know if you're, if any of you out there live in a big city. Uh, but when you do live in a big city, you, you kind of find ways to avoid doing anything on the weekend uh, so that you don't uh, because it's just all these people doing stuff also on the weekend uh, a like going to the beach is usually not a good thing to do on the weekend go to the beach it's like it's also it's uh, also like you, you avoid uh, one avoids rush hour I think some people actually enjoy it all, though. I got to admit, I got to, I got to, I, not to admit, but I got to assume. I have to assume people like waiting in lines, um, you know, like to use the bathroom and to be in uh, traffic jams. I think people actually enjoy that part of life because they keep coming back to it. You know, they keep doing it. And I guess that's the part of life that uh, that I have a hard time really getting into the whole, getting into it too much, you know. Oh yeah, a lot of people uh, are are visiting or are, 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 yeah. Well, the summer. The summer in New York City, if you've been living there all year, you might want to think about taking like a little break away from it all, I would imagine. It's a bit muggy too. It's a bit, you know, if it's going to be muggy, you'd rather be muggy in the in the country with a lot of trees as opposed to in the city, I think. It's, the muggy in the city is kind of, that's a tough one. I, I was there, uh, New York last last month, early last month, about a month ago, or a little more, and it was actually pretty good weather, except for one the la- I think it was like the last day. In fact, it it got really muggy, seriously muggy, and it just happened to be the the one day that I had to walk maybe the most. Of, of all the time. Well, there's a lot of walking you do in New York, frankly. It's Hot town, summer in the city. Back of my neck getting dirty and gritty. Na, 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 
That's a great song. Who sings that? Who who does that song? I like that song. Speaking of music, it must be interesting, you know, being being sort of middle aged now, now now that I'm sort of now somewhat officially middle aged or even old compared to uh the Pokemon two point uh, crowd. Uh there sure was a lot of songs. Loving Spoonful. There sure was a lot of great songs from that, you know, 60s. Not that I'm, I'm from the 60s, I'm not. Uh, but a more, more 70s, 80s. But during that period, there was, sure was a lot of good uh, ballad songs. There's songs, the catchy songs that you could kind of remember. But boy, I don't know about kids today. Kids today, those kids today, what, what do they have? <laughs> that was John Hurt. Who was John Hurt? <laughs> Hot Town Summer in the City? I w- mm. But the kids today, what do they got? I mean, what can they what can they sing that, that seems like, you know, like you know, like oodles full of, of catchy hit songs that you could you know, how are you gonna do that? How are you going to do that? How are they going to do it? How are they going to, I mean, I guess they will. They will, though. That's just it. They will. Or maybe they move on and they do something else. They'll do something else. The kids are all right. The kids are all right. We'll be all right, guys. I think. Hot town, summer in the city. Back in my get neck, getting gritty and gritty. Is that how? Uh, 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 uh. 818-528-4516. Uh, there ain't enough coffee in this world to keep me going at this moment. But I better not drink anymore because I've had plenty. I guess people can drink or people are been known to drink a lot of cups of coffee, like 10 cups of coffee or just some crazy amount of coffee. I've I've never really uh, entered that force field, if you will. I've definitely entered the force field of drinking a lot of beer. But even then, I, I, there's a there's a limit, I think, at least for me. I don't. All right. Well, anyway, you're watching Let's Paint TV. Uh, we are trying to figure out if we're going to do anything here with you all, or maybe we just. Relax. We can just relax. I might just relax here with you all because I uh, I kind of feel like it. If anything else, I kind of feel like just relaxing. I don't feel like I need to. I don't, you know, honestly, I do not. I don't have the need for speed at this moment. I do not have the need to do anything more than just hang out and read your chats. And uh, take your calls at 818-528-4516. 
all around people looking half dead walking on the sidewalk hotter than a match head Uh, so the bird painting that I'm doing, I just kind of resurrected this painting. The I did the did the I might might have mentioned the power lines. Uh, I just the telephone pole I did about maybe probably two years ago, thinking, oh, this is this is a great idea. <laughs> this is a great idea. I'll do a series of power line paintings of top power, telephone poles. And then I just I kind of after I did it, I was like, uh, I guess it's okay. And then it just sits there, you know, it sits there for a while. And and I'm like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. It's like there's nothing, kind of boring. And uh, years ago in grad school, I did a, a large a large painting of the same idea of the birds, uh, different various birds on the, on the power lines. And uh, it's always one of my favorite paintings, so. It made it makes ten, total sense to uh, relive it in a way. You know, there's there's something interesting about when you make art all the time. You there's a bound to be a a connection uh, to what you've done in the past. And I mean, this is this of course would be an obvious connection to that other painting. Uh, but. Uh, it makes it makes perfect sense to have a variation or variations on the theme particularly if it makes you happy you know if it makes you happy keep maybe doing it uh or at least consider that thought maybe it's not your best move in the long run but it sure keeps you going it keeps you moving and so with that in mind maybe that's that's not such a bad gig not a bad gig at all even uh, even though, of course, uh, or, or very much so, uh, no intrinsic value, <laughs> you know, for for others uh, who happen to stumble upon it. Uh, that you can't worry about that so much. Just just keep going is what we try to tell you all to do. Is just keep going, people. Uh, and um, But but it doesn't hurt to think a little bit about it all, I guess. I mean, but I say we we probably we can think so much about things that we end up not we just give up. I think that's I think that's what a lot of people do. You know, how, how many times do you hear a story? Do you ever? How famously you, don't you hear people? I I know people um, who supposedly or they claim to have like this super high IQ. Like they have this really high IQ. Like supposedly they took an IQ test and they're like extremely smart. And but I'm not seeing that in them. I'm not seeing that they're extremely smart. You know what I'm saying? And I think sometimes that that factor uh, uh, we all we all fall fall prey to that. Uh, let, letting, let, you know, t too smart for your own good kind of, uh, mentality. Uh, something to think about, but haven't you guys heard that? Maybe you are a high IQ person yourself, but it seems that it seems, uh, it seems times seems to be, <laughs> it seems times seems, time, seems more times than not, or at least I've heard this more than once. Let's just say this. Maybe I've only heard it twice. Maybe the other 98 of, percent of high IQ people are high functioning, successful uh, human beings. But uh, from what I, my perception is, is that that's not always the case. Not always the case. Um, but what makes you go? What makes you tick? Uh, is is it too much? Is it too much uh, intellect? Um, good, good for you. Uh, that's that's a that's a personal uh, journey that you need to decide for yourself. Um, you know, sometimes you know, modern man, particularly Western civilization, civiliza civilization, uh, modern man, modern man, 
Da, 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 da. Modern man. Little Bowie. I wish I knew more of the words. Modern man. <laughs> Soundboy Eric says, penis. <laughs> uh, but uh, I was just going on a riff on the... Uh, yeah, you, there, there tends to be modern man or Western civilization tends to have a lot of the uh, the benefit of, of a lot of maybe free time or, or a lot of time to, to ponder and to to wonder uh, and it might not be for us all to, to do a lot of pondering and wondering uh, or 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 as a as a some who said Su Susan Powder. Someone said says it. Snap out of it. You know, just get to work. You know, uh, uh, but it's good to relax too. So it's all you know, or, or to ponder. It's good to it's got to consider, consider uh, to uh, to wonder. Uh, but uh, it does. It can lead to uh, a lot of frustration and. Uh, and, and a lot of false moves, a lot of false innuendos, false uh, platforms, uh, false uh, ceilings, false uh, false teeth. There's a lot of stuff out there that is not always uh, what what it what it seems. Uh, so. You know, you can you can you can rack your head, trying to make it uh, make sense out of it, or, or try to uh, control control it all. Uh, but uh, but how much time do we need to spend in there? You know, in that realm. If we watch a show for ten years, can we uh, get a MLP diploma? Uh, e well, I, sure, sure. Yeah, you you probably would probably uh, be uh, uh, you probably would have uh, most likely have passed all your required courses and, and such. Uh, so yeah, more than likely. Uh, though I I suspect that you, one could maybe get a diploma. Is simply by going to my eBay store and actually buying it, and that's really the only way you can get a diploma, a Let's Pay T Miss, uh, Let's Pay TV University diploma is, is through my eBay store, and you can find that uh, there at Let's Paint TV .com. Go to the shop link and uh, look up my uh, eBay store for Let's Paint TV. I, it's not the best uh, website, though. I, I heard this recently that. It's uh, quite uh, popular now to have shitty websites, so I'm uh, I'm hip now because I have a shitty website that is hard to figure out how to make it work and do anything. A lot of dead links and uh, actually no, it all works. It's just it it, it looks pretty shitty. You, you forgot about that. I thought it was an original thought. Oh, you know, <laughs> talk about original thoughts. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, a lot of time. I mean, I try, I try to pride myself on, on being somewhat original or I like to advocate that in, 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 in us all. And, uh, it is, uh, it's, it's close to impossible to, to really have anything somewhat uh you know unique or or whatever but it is it is it is doable i, I don't think it's going to help though if you are are just replicating stuff uh and then change it just a little that that's generally not going to get you to a uh, a unique uh, position in in uh in creativity uh force field of life if that's your persuasion if that's what you're looking to try to do or 
or feel obligated or feel inclined to to go for uh, a uh, your own your own little toot, you know, toot your own horn. Um, but but uh, you know, in fact. Boy, sometimes you almost have to catch yourself while you're doing something and just like Google whatever you're doing to make sure someone else hadn't already done it. But at the same time, you can't, don't, don't, don't sweat it. If it, Because here's the thing, um, in terms of this idea of, of uh, copying or, or not so much copying, but, but imitating or doing something that someone has already done, you know, I come from a whole, this whole um, landscape, I guess, in a sense, tradition, painting landscapes. Uh, well, it's, such a, it's such a common thing, you know, to paint a, tr a, paint a tree, to paint a landscape, to paint a, or a still life, or, a, or someone's portrait. There, there's not much different, difference between the way you painted it and the way someone else painted it. Uh, but there is, there is, but uh, but because it's the same subject matter, uh, it can be kind of hard to differentiate, differentiate, um, uh, based on uh, your mannerisms. Uh, there's other people with this, a similar mannerisms, and so you, you know, not that there's a uh, an exact dapple danger. What's that word? Dapple danger. Uh, Dapple dagger. Dap. There's a word, right? There's a word meaning someone is like someone like on the other side of the world is doing the exact same thing you're doing. Anyway, but there are uh, a lot of people doing something uh, very similar. Very similar. Doppel gangster. Nice. You just made that up, right? Doppelbanger. Doppelganger. Now, I don't think it's doppelganger. What is it? Doppel radar? <laughs> the doppel radar for this weather doppel radar reports snow and windy skies for the next couple of days. Doppelgangster. I like that one. Now that's that's good. It's probably I'll bet you someone already has that doppelgangster.com or something. Look it up. It's probably already already uh, there's probably a big website that's probably selling uh, a lot of paraphernalia and stuff. Well, it's uh it's Monday. Uh, big week ahead, I suppose. Uh, always a big week. It's a big week for somebody. It doesn't have to be a big week for you, though. You know. Sometimes it's it's good to not have a big week. It's it's actually kind of nice to not have a, anything really going on. It's it's quite it's quite nice. Just kind of you know a stop and smell the roses kind of thing. Um, and, and or or not have any like pressing deadlines. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. You, you should be able to look it up. Go go Google it. Is it Doppelganger? Maybe it is. I like Dapple Dapple Gangster. I like that. That'd be like Dapple Gangster is gangsters the same gangster uh, in different cities. So a, a gangster, a gang member in uh, you know like Houston is uh, is the exact same gang member in uh, New York City and the same gang member in in Oakland and Dapple Gangster.
honestly, it wouldn't be too far of a stretch um, to, 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 uh, to, to probably find similarities. Um, you know, because it's a culture that is uh, uh, replicates itself pretty well. I mean, in terms of uh, emulate, there's a lot of uh, similarities. Doppler, Doppler, Doppler radar, Doppler, Doppler, not Doppel, Doppler, Doppel. Hey, we're learning stuff here today. That's good. It's good to learn stuff. Learn something. You know, I should have some water. I should drink some water is what I should need to do because I, I, I think I'm fading. I think I need protein, I believe. I think I need protein. I, I definitely don't need any more coffee. I need to drink some water. I got some water over here. I probably need some protein something. Maybe a protein bar. Oh. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right if, if it doesn't uh, work out, guys. If, if, uh, if you if you got off to the wrong side of the bed today, it's it's okay. You know, a lot of times this happens. You you actually get off on the right side of the bed. You ever have this experience? I've had this more than more times than not. You actually get out. You get out. You you have an optimistic kind of moment uh, in in time and place as you wake up, and uh, lo and behold, <laughs> it it, uh, it doesn't shake. You know, the day does not shake out very well. There's some. I don't know, bad news or just some bad, you know, you, either from outside sources or you, you, or just created your own inner, inner sanctum of, of, uh, maybe turmoil. But I've, I've noticed that sometimes it's, uh, you, you actually have optimistic, uh, uh, moves, uh, from the get go. Uh, and, and yet, uh, meaning AE meaning you got out. Uh, out out on the right side of the bed you got you got up <laughs> you got out you got up <laughs> you got out you got up whatever whatever you want to say how you however you want to phonically uh phonetically uh, pronounce that or or express the uh, the expression uh getting up on the right side of the bed no on no one ever says that they they generally say get uh it looks like you got up on the wrong side of the bed, which would be a good painting, by the way. Uh, which leads us to our book on idioms. Idioms. Let me, hey, let me show you that book, guys. Let me show you. I got the book back. Let me show you that. Let me, I can at least do that. Let me go get the book and show it to you. Just a second, guys. You're watching Let's Paint TV. Okay, we're back. Oh. And I got my book. Let me uh, situate myself here. Oh. Excuse me, sorry about that. Oh, geez, that was. All right, I got my book. Let's see if I can show it to you. Let's show it to you. Move some stuff around uh maybe we'll go facetime maybe yeah facetime no is that gonna work let's see should i get a better shot let me go up here with facetime hey, there you go and there okay that'll be good you guys want to see my book let's uh let's do it let's do it guys uh so anyway here here's the book here's the book all right, now this is, uh, we just ordered the one book 
uh, and because I want to make some adjustments, I wanted to make sure. Uh, but at the present state, it, it's looking, it looks pretty good, is what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, but I want to lighten basically some of the photos, like this one uh, needs to be lightened. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this here. All right, so here, here's the back, there's the back cover. And so what I did is I, I put all, I listed, this is sort of the index uh, for all the paintings with the page number. So there's your index, all right, and then uh, try to flip the pages here. Roughly, there, there. Okay, so this is, this is uh, page number one. Kind of a, you know, books are kind of like they waste a lot of pages. I've noticed. They, you know, they, they, the first couple of pages are just like nothing's really going on. But so, in keeping with uh, regular books, uh, we did just that too. So we, we didn't get to the point. Let's put it that way. We dragged it out. Uh, there's that kind of thing. There's a nice picture of me. There's a, there's a little foreword or a, a little information here. And um, and then it just goes right goes right to the to the various paintings, uh, plates, if you will. I guess they used to call them plates. Um, and you can see I got the little writing down below, and just like that. Uh, this is the next page. Like that. I, I don't know if I'm going to show you the whole book or nothing. You know, I mean, I want to keep some of the uh, suspense if you were to maybe purchase the book. All right. Uh, anyway, so there, there it just kind of, it just goes one after another, basically forever and ever and ever. Uh, I'm not, I'm not having the best of time uh, showing you these pages. As uh, I'm trying to look at the camera, and uh, all right. So now you're familiar with some of these paintings if you've been watching the show over the the last handful of years, because we've been making these uh, a lot of these on the show. So anyway, it's uh, it's it's pretty well. Uh, it, uh, I like even has a little thing on the side there. Yeah, it's barely can read it. It's upside down, I guess. Look at that. Kill Duff's painted encyclopedia of uh, idioms, puns, and whatnot. Let's paint TV press. Anyway, it's basically done. Um, but I wanna I wanna uh, lighten up a couple of pictures, particularly the cover. It's a little dark, and uh, that's really about it. I, I don't think I've seen any any other mistakes other than just maybe the, some of the pictures are just a little too dark. So, like I said, I'm going to fix that. And then I'll order if you if you ordered already ordered through the Kickstarter. Well, just have to wait a little longer because I haven't made the uh, I have not ordered them. I'm waiting for the 40% off. They always have these 40 35 40% off sales. And uh, once that shows up, I will um, get them, get, get that, uh, order those. As I think I have to get, I have to buy, I think there's 15 to 20. I don't have the final count, but roughly, I, let's just figure it's, I, I gotta buy 20 books, so. I definitely want to make sure I get uh, a good uh, price cut. Did you buy a PDF? Nice. Uh, once I once I make the order, the PDF I can send out instantly. I'll have that. Once I, you know, like I said, have it, it should should hopefully be in a few weeks. It, it took a little longer than than I wanted to the whole thing, but. It really had more to do with that. I, I got um, had to do other stuff, really. 
So it took a little longer than I wanted it to be done. Um, but I did say it would be done in July, and in some ways it, it, it will be, but I don't think you're going to actually get the book until August. And it might even take a little longer. Yeah, blurbs kind of a ripoff, by the way. Uh, they're not they're not the greatest, but they're kind of they're convenient. They're definitely convenient. But there's there's no real good deal with them yet. Uh, I ended up paying twenty eight dollars for this one, and this is doesn't make any sense. It's forty percent off. I paid forty. I had a forty percent off whatever on this book what does that mean that this was like going to be sixty dollars come on that that's pretty lame frankly but they they are, they must be making a killing oh I actually, um, uh, Daniel has a, uh, Daniel Rolnick is, was telling me that he has a, a contact, a local uh, printer that will print stuff, uh, you know, but the problem I thought, or I, I think would be the problem for me is that, uh, the convenience, you know. Sneeze, sneeze time, wow. Wow, that was, I felt it coming, the sneeze. Uh, holy shit. Are you all right there, Samboy Eric? Did I, did I blow up the... blow up the uh, sound the, your sound levels did I did I probably I probably crack the uh, I, I probably that was such a loud explosion of sound waves that I I blew it up I blew your speakers that's what I did now it's all crackly from for here on out All right, well, just uh, with just a few more minutes left of this exciting show, I uh, got to tell you, I'm having a great time. I actually am uh, enjoying my time here with you, even though we, we're not doing any painting, it looks like. It doesn't look like I'm going to do any kind of painting. But, hey, I did a little show and tell. We talked uh, metaphorically, uh, figuratively, about one's... Our, our own existence in time and place, I, I suspect. We did. I mean, maybe we didn't. At least we, we, uh, we scratched the surface, as always. Scratching the surface is... Uh, scratching the surface is better than scratching uh, your, your, your ass or uh, scratching, scratching your, your skin. And... Though I was watching, I, I don't know if you, you watch any PBS. I, I tend to watch a lot of PBS because I don't have uh, a good cable TV package of, of any note. Um, so I don't get lost in any fun cable channel that's out there. I, I got zero. I get CNN, you know. But, uh, and uh, National Ge Nat Geo. I get Nat Geo and Discover. I get, those are the only cable channels I think I get. I might get something else that I'm not familiar with or certain. Uh, so I watch a lot of PBS stuff, and uh, they love to they love to have these kind of uh, shows where they uh, uh, show you how to live better, you know, eat and primarily eat healthy or or to have better skin. I, I was watching some guy talk about better skin, and uh, he he was propo propo he was a big proponent of using uh to exfoliate your skin to use the 
rough surface of of a sponge for dishwashing sponge you know how they have the two sides on the sponge and you know it's usually that green uh, coursey stuff on one side and then and then just kind of sponge material on the other and he was recommending using that coarse hard part of the of that dishwashing sponge uh, to uh, to scrub off uh, your skin uh, while you're taking a shower or taking a bath so I'm gonna try that out that sounds fun that sounds fun uh, but he did recommend not to uh, then use that to wash your dishes uh, you know try to se separate the two basically I could see that probably being a problem if you were to then you know wash yourself with the uh, dishwashing uh, sponge and and then then proceed to do your dishes also at the same time now Kramer I believe Kramer from Seinfeld was did uh, did do the dishes and take a shower and prepare food <laughs> on one episode there was a, it was a good episode of him doing just that uh, and then he he uh, <laughs> there's a scene where he uh, then shows uh, prepare uh, serves serves the food that he prepared in the shower while he was taking the shower uh, <laughs> And uh, pretty much everyone kind of freaked out uh, quite a bit. And that was quite a shock, as you could imagine. Oh, oh yeah, Soundboy Eric. Yeah, I know. That's that's a sad. That's misfortunate. That's that it. Yeah, that was a uh, that was after Seinfeld, and it was a nightclub uh, in Hollywood. I, I wouldn't, I don't know the exact, uh, which club, like comedy club, a comedy club. And, uh, yeah, he, some, he had some hecklers and, uh, he, that's a good word, right? Misfortunate. Cause he was very funny on Seinfeld. He was, if it wasn't for him, uh, well, all of them, all of them on Seinfeld, they were all, they're all so great. Uh, was, I mean, in terms of a, a group of, of characters uh, they all they all fit the bill uh, they all did their job for sure anyway yeah misfortunate because he really uh, got uh, just uh, really screwed that one up and uh, it's hard to it's hard to live that one down basically it's a top five sitcom of all time I would say it's probably the number one in my book, it's it's probably number one, and the funny thing is, is that I or it's not funny. Though Seinfeld is funny, but but uh, what I'm about to say is probably not funny. It's more sad. Uh, when it came out, I I had no, uh, I didn't find it to be funny, and I didn't care for it at all. That's it. That's uh, that's not really funny, is it? But I did not find it to be funny. I think I couldn't identify with it. I was not identifying with uh, a New York uh, complaining uh, sitcom, a sitcom where uh, New Yorkers are uh, living their New York uh, ways and, and complaining. I mean, it's not a show about nothing. It's a show about complaining is what it is. That's what Seinfeld is. Complain, complain, complain. Always complaining. In fact, I remember being on an airplane and they were showing an episode of Seinfeld and I'm like, you know, this is the last place I want to see a Seinfeld episode uh, because, uh, you know, I'm stuck on an airplane and I have to watch a Seinfeld episode. This is back in the day when you didn't have options and, you, and you're going to have to watch, uh, you know, Boy in a Plastic Bubble or some frustrating, you know, scenario and... Uh, yeah, so I think that's the last thing you want to see is is, is something like that. Uh, but I've changed I've changed my stripes, kind of like Ronald Reagan changing his stripes, kind of like Donald Trump uh, changing his stripes uh, every day or so. Uh, I I have uh, changed my my ideas my thoughts a little bit over the years. Uh, so yeah, I like Seinfeld quite a bit. What would be the top five? What would be the top five uh, sitcoms of all time? 
You know, I guess we're talking TV. It's a good question. Maybe Yeah, say yeah, I was thinking MASH, but I never found that to be funny. Now that's that's a show that's not funny. That's not a comedy. MASH was not a comedy as far as I'm concerned. I I never all I saw with MASH was was some military bullshit. Um and and I just didn't see any of the fun funny part of it all. So maybe it's because I don't like you didn't like the uh, the surroundings, you know. I mean, I watched it, but I never laughed. Uh, Larry Sanders, show, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I've never really watched enough of Larry Sanders. I, I Larry Sanders show. I would like to watch it more, uh, but I don't have. Uh, I don't, I don't have that. Um, I have not been able to watch hardly any of that show. So you're saying that the top, these are the top 10 or top five shows. See, those are completely not the case. How could Family Ties curb your enthusiasm, which I guess is a good show uh, that I never watched. Uh, Golden Girls, Married with Children, The Cosby Show, Rested and Developed. Where, where's Seinfeld? You got to have Seinfeld. Problem with these uh, lists is that they don't, they don't list shows like the Bob Newhart show, which for me, that was a, that's a funny show. A little too dry though, a little too dry. You know, Family, uh, family Guy, which is a cartoon, so I guess it's not a sitcom, so I guess it can't be considered a, cannot be a uh, listed, I suspect. But Family Guy, I like Family Guy. They don't make that show anymore, do they, Family Guy? Uh, so what are the top five or top ten comedies, uh, sitcoms? See, Laughing's not, Laughing is not a sitcom, so it's not, you know, that's a, that's a variety show. That's a variety show. Frasier was pretty good. Frasier was pretty good, I guess. I didn't, I didn't, again, I think I didn't like the premise. See, you got to like the premise enough. And again, comedy is, doesn't necessarily should always be based on whiny, whining, complaining uh, problems, you know, but, but I guess in, these are situational comedies. So I guess that's the very nature of a sitcom is that uh, that it's about uh, people complaining. Yeah, see, Simpsons is is a is a is a uh, is a cartoon. It's not a sitcom. So you have to uh, we got to take those out. We got to take those off the board uh, in terms of sitcoms. We're talking situational comedies, man. So Seinfeld to me is number one. I I don't you know maybe years ago I wouldn't have put it anywhere in the top five because I just didn't like the show. But now that I like it, it's number one. Yeah, we're not mentioning Friends. Friends is not in there at all. <laughs> and but the thing is, when you pick when we pick the top five, like so I think I was talking about earlier in the program as we we're about to sign off the the fact that probably youngsters people uh in their 20s or whatever you know you think well geez they they don't even know a lot of they don't have songs that they can just kind of throw out there and mumble but they do they do you just don't realize it and so uh so they're gonna pick their top you know they're gonna like the big bang theory see they're gonna put big bang theory as their top show of all time sitcom Big Bang Theory which uh, <laughs> which uh, in my mind would be uh, a good example of, of the of, of the end of civilization <laughs> in some ways 
Uh, not so much the end of civilization, but the end of comedy. If, if Big Bang Theory is, is considered, uh, actually, it, for the last few years, it is, is supposedly, they claim to be the number one comedy on TV. Big Bang Theory. So that we've had, we've had a dry streak. We've, we've had a definitely, there's a desert out there in comedy for, for once, uh, for at least uh, network TV comedy, there is a serious dearth, dearth, is that the right word? Drought, drought. All right. Well, anyway, uh, that's it for us here today. Thanks again. We, we've touched a lot of bases, uh, but I didn't touch them all. So we did not hit a home run. We did not, we did not score because I, I didn't touch all the bases. I touched some of them. All right, guys, uh, have a, have a great day uh, ahead. Uh, it's uh Well, I think before, uh, just to let you go, in terms of the uh, sort of the, the lack of, of really great sitcoms on TV, they, the, a lot of those, the advent of, let's say, uh, or sort of the, a lot of these sitcoms now have moved on to, you know, uh, these uh, cable networks, you know, like, uh, and so if you don't have cable, then you don't get to watch it kind of thing. All right, um, and, and then uh, and then also, it's cheaper to do like I guess reality TV. You know, you don't have to pay really any writers and stuff like that. Yeah, writer strike. You mentioned that. Uh, I guess that had a lot to do with it, or it can have a lot to do with it. But uh, there's still some good stuff out there. There's a, lot, but I think they tend to probably be over on the. Um, cable channels that uh, you have to pay for, which. Uh, for me, uh, I won't do because uh, I, I I have to. Uh, I'm somewhat practical uh, with with uh, the very little money uh, I keep uh, keep afloat with. Well, guys, that's the show. Uh, sorry, we went on a somewhat of a various tangents. No, I'm not sorry for that, but I, but I am sorry that if it, somehow it, it came down to a, uh, a downer of, of any aspect or any within, you know, that's not my intent. Is to, uh, I want, I'm trying to uplift you. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. How about that? Maybe that uplifted you, maybe. We'll see you tomorrow. Where are we? Come on. Let's see. Here we go.